Hi everyone, welcome to Amazaki Yoga and Aerial. My name is Amy. I am here today to you with another uh, aerial yoga pose, beginner's pose. And what they have today is a way of entering the hammock. So this is not related to any traditional yoga pose that we would ever do. It's probably closest related to a somersault that you might do in gymnastics. I would never teach this in a traditional yoga class. But for aerial yoga, it's often a way from getting from A to B, if we've been working on the floor under the hammock, we want to get into the hammock, sometimes it's nice to have a fun way that will get you there, and it is a bit of conditioning. Now, I've had students come to my classes for two years, and it's taken that long to master this pose. Equally, I've had students come for a week, and they've mastered it. So if it doesn't happen straight away, don't panic. I'm going to give you a, a cheat, an easier way into it towards the end, which might be the way that you learn to get into the pose before you do the full version. Um, and also, if you can't get in, bring your hammock lower. The lower your hammock is, the easier this pose is going to be to do. So master it with a nice low hammock. You can bring it lower than you usually have. Bring it down to sort of mid-thigh level and get used to getting in from there before you bring it back to your usual level. So let's begin. So start by coming to stand in front of your hammock and spreading it out. So giving it a nice wave, making sure that it's not tangled, and then bringing it over your shoulders. So you've brought it a little bit like a cape. Taking your hands up above your shoulders, the palms up towards the ceiling, and just holding on to the two edges there. Taking one elbow in towards your side, back behind you, up towards the ceiling, and then forward over that front edge of the fabric. So it makes this chicken wings type appearance. This is our chicken wing flip. So again, other side, taking you back into the fabric, and then over that front edge, the front rail. So I've now got two chicken wings, but the fabric is quite tight over my elbows. From here, I'm going to come towards a forward fold, so leaning forward, sliding my hands up, but I'm still holding on to those two edges either side. Give yourself a moment, because what we're going to do is do a big jump and a forward roll. This is the bit that your mind can talk you out of. So coming up maybe to your tiptoes. Three, two, one. And giving that a roll to come into your hammock. So you can come to seated, you can come to lying down. I've never seen anyone do this and overshoot the hammock. Your hammock will catch you as you come up and through. And from there you can start doing work seated within the hammock or work laid in the hammock. Whenever you want to come out, hold on to the two sides and coming back to stand. Now I'm going to give you a cheat way in. Um, and this is the way that you'll sometimes come in, especially if you've been doing a slow we had a Warrior 3 video on the channel recently, under the hammock, and if I've been working Warrior 3, I'll do this way because there's no point in making it harder for myself. So, for your cheat, for your way to come in if that initial way is a little bit daunting. Again, we're going to spread out the fabric, it's very, very similar, making sure we've got the forward fabric to work with. But then I'm going to gather this front edge so I can see the back, I'm just going to poke one foot in. So I've made a little pocket in the fabric. Just as before, I'm going to bring this over my shoulders. My palms go up towards the sky, I gather the fabric. Elbow goes back, up and over. Back, up and over. Make sure it's nice and tight, you've got your chicken wings. Coming forward to your forward fold and sliding your hands up. You've got your foot in this hand, so it's going to help you push into the fabric to get in. So when you're ready, pushing into the fabric as well. I'm jumping off the floor. And you can roll through and in. So roll a nice jump all over the floor. You're already halfway there with that version. You've already got one leg in. To give both of those a go, I hope that the cheat version works for you if that is a pose that you've strolled with for a while. It's a lovely way of entering the fabric, and it's great if you start to put poses together into a choreography routine. If you haven't joined us before, please give us a like and a follow below. It means the world to us. We have three poses a week coming out on the channel, so there's bound to be something new, even for our most experienced aerialists. Have a great day.